This video is going to show you how to tape off your artwork so that you can continue painting. More specifically, it shows you how to tape off the graffiti that you've been making uh, if you've been following along making your artwork and this is for your project. All you need is some painter's tape, a regular pair of scissors, you don't really need your X-Acto knife. It depends how intricate your pattern or name or graffiti, uh, how intricate or complex it is. This portion of the project is really self-explanatory. Uh, you can see the painter's tape and the scissors, and that's really all you need. Just continue to tear off the tape, cut it as you see fit, and apply it to the shape that you're taping to. If you're doing this project and you don't have a name, whatever the background and whatever the object uh, of the artwork uh, in the foreground is, you want to separate the two by taping it. Now that I fast forward and you can't see very much, but I am applying quite a bit of pressure when I push down. I like to use the back of my fingernail. And, and push down really hard to get a good seal. Um, unless you are stretching your own canvas, I think uh, that might be a little bit too advanced for this tutorial. <laughs> so not sure what to tell you if that's, uh, if that's what you're doing. Um, but for those of you who have purchased your canvas uh, at an art supply store, you can press down pretty good um, I don't recommend like trying to touch the table or anything like that, but you can press down pretty good. Canvas is really resilient even when it's back stapled. This canvas is actually artist grade. It's not beginner's grade. And I'm pushing down pretty good. If you feel comfortable to put a book behind it uh, and that you feel it's necessary, you can. Once the foreground is completely taped off, you're ready to move along to the next stage of the project. And this stage is complete. Check out the next stage in the project. 